Hey, welcome back guys. It's Patrick here bringing you guys day two of my experience at the Axopolis Space Academy. So we woke up at about 5 a.m. on day two, which means we got like three or four hours of sleep. I was really tired and I know I tweeted this picture. I threw on my eye on camera. I threw on my spacesuit and we were off to the Kennedy Space Center. So before we left though, we were assigned our group leader. We were given Elizabeth for Team Pioneer. She was a really cool girl. It also doesn't hurt that she was really hot, but <laughs> overall she was really cool and she was interested in space. So it was sort of nice to have a group leader who actually liked what was going on. Uh, so after we were given our leader, we hopped on the bus. This was the bus that we took all around the space center to see the different shuttles, see the different projects. And you can see here, there's some of the guys, there's some of the Australians, uh, there's some of the guys from the UK, and then the rest of the people in our group were Americans. So we hopped on, we actually had a really cool tour guide, his name was Mark, he gave a ton of stories, uh, it looks like he'd been doing it for like 40 years, so obviously he had every story in the book. And while we were driving by, we actually got to see one of the transporters. This is one, These are one of the things that move the shuttles from place to place. It only moves like one mile an hour, but it is such a heavy and incredible thing. When you get close to it, it's absolutely amazing. And uh, you can see here, I'm by one of the places where the shuttles launch. Took a little picture looking like a goober. And I tried to play Clash nearby, and but the picture turned out terrible. So I just posted this one. Um, this is like the charred ground from the flames of the rockets and stuff. So it's pretty neat to get that close to where a lot of the things blast off. So next, we went to one of the biggest buildings in the United States per square foot. And here, this is where they work on the different shuttles, uh, the different rockets. And we took a little tour around. You can obviously how, see how tall it is. So we sort of just walked around and had a chance to look at a bunch of the different artifacts and a bunch of the different stuff that went into the spaceships. So it was pretty interesting. I didn't know a whole lot before I went in, but I feel like I really did learn a lot of cool stuff, especially from Mark. He was a great guide. We had a chance to look at the Saturn V. This is the actual rocket and the actual like thrusters in the back. So I took some cool pictures there and I don't think the pictures serve justice about literally how massive these things were. Um, and then after that, we had a chance to look at a space, uh, space suit that actually walked on the moon. There was moon dust on the boots, which was insane. So overall, we just kept walking around. They had a little tunnel to go through, uh, so I recorded myself going through it. Obviously, you can see my eye and my nose, which is sort of freaky, uh, but we looked through, and uh, I didn't even really know what was going on, but it was sort of fun to just move around. I felt like I was at Chuck E. Cheese again, uh, so we just walked around, and we, uh, we had a good time at the Kennedy Space Center. So after the Kennedy Space Center, we were supposed to go on the zero gravity experience, or sorry, not the zero gravity experience. We're supposed to go in the G-force simulator where they spin you around in a circle for about three Gs of force. Uh, but we had heard news that there would be a rocket launch and at the Kennedy Space Center, and we were gonna head back to base and watch it go down. Now, they weren't sure if it was gonna happen or not because I think they had like three failed launches, but right before we were about to do the G4 simulator, they said that it was gonna go blast off, so I went ahead and recorded a cool video of it happening. T minus 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> So obviously it was a really cool thing to see in person. All of us were going crazy. Uh, if you look really closely, I doubt you can see it on YouTube. But anyways, if you look closely in the original video, you can actually see the rocket in the middle of all that smoke. Uh, so it was such a cool thing to witness in person. And even though we skipped the G-Force simulator today, we were gonna do it later in the week. So we overall didn't miss anything from the trip. Okay, so that's gonna do it for day two. For day three, we had one of my favorite things happen. We actually had the chance to fly in a plane and do all these crazy tricks. I know some of you guys might've seen that video already as well as we have the assault course uh, which was a really good time so stay tuned for that I'm gonna post that as soon as possible and I'll see you guys later